So continuing on the route of getting to know us Huttons, I thought I'd bring you over to our allotment. I say our, um, it's really not mine. <laughs> it's Olivia and Jackie's. <laughs> I can cook it, I can't grow it. Little bit of a disclaimer, this is my happy wife, happy life kind of deal. I'm trying to keep a shifty eye over to make sure that they don't walk over while I'm telling you this. But this is happy wife, happy life segment. Um, my wife is a hippie, <laughs> plain and simple, she is a hippie. And she loves anything like this. When we first moved into the house, which is just across the road from the allotment, we didn't know that this allotment was even here. Uh, I decided to go for a walk one evening after work and ask her if she wanted to come for a walk. And we walked across the road through the gate and here stood this delightful allotment. Uh, and, and, and she said that she wanted one. Uh, now, originally there wasn't any of the segments left or remaining and she were gutted. So she left a number and left a name and told them if anything came up that she would really, really like one. Just had something fly in my leg. So uh, a couple of days later, there was a phone call saying that there was one left uh, and would she be interested? £12.50, £12.50 a year. Not a month, not a week, a year. Uh, and she was able to grab one. So for £12.50 a year, she was able to grow her own vegetables and just come over here and, and chill out and, and dig and her and Olivia can have something that's theirs and they absolutely adored it, which I, I just love the idea of, absolutely love the idea of. Plus it keeps her happy and keeps her, keeps her motivated and, and gives her something to crack on with. I tried to capture it every time I try and film um, a little little segment like this. There is a pheasant over in the field just over there that keeps on cawing. Cawing? Is that the word? Uh, squawking. <laughs> it just keeps on doing it every time I try and film a little bit. <laughs> the allotment's been a very, very welcome dis distraction. Distraction from real life, if I'm going to be honest. So, literally the best £12.50 I have ever spent in my entire life. It keeps them happy, it keeps them busy, and uh, keeps them out of trouble. <laughs> no wonder we've got no peas left if you keep on eating them. Oh, I see. It's absolutely crazy how beautiful this place is. Absolutely. It's like a stunning little Eden, and I'm sorry about the wind. I know that it keeps on picking up, and then it doesn't, and then it picks up, and then it doesn't. But literally, I could not be in a more calm and peaceful place. It's just... <laughs> just getting attacked by bugs. It is just an absolutely stunning little area. And I mean, I said this on the, the Crestwall Crags video, there's so many places just near wherever you are and, and and it's just beautiful it's just beautiful i mean you look at some of these little areas and, and you won't believe it's just right on our doorstep like literally live across the road from it there is loads and loads and loads of little sort of like community areas on the allotment as well as well as loads of different plots there's like it's a little bit overgrown now, so I feel like we're going to be going into the jungles of Borneo. Um, but there's, there's loads of little uh, community areas, like little gardens and, and things like that. There's a little bridge. I thought I'd take you for a little walk around before we go back up to actually see our allotment. Uh, so this is one of the little community areas, and, and it's just a beautiful little spot. There's like a little sensory garden just behind me, and and like little garden patches and flowers and smell. And I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's absolutely kicking my arm hole with, uh, with my hay fever that's, that I've decided to develop over the last two years, but it's so worth it, absolutely so worth it. It's such a stunning little area and, and just a lovely, lovely place to be. So here we are onto the main event. This is actually our allotment. Like I just said, we're gonna just have a look. But I did give the disclaimer that she's not, they're not really not very good. <laughs> They've had to redig the whole allotment. It's so, 
No one can, no one can see you. You're, you're saying stuff, but I've not even got the camera on you. <laughs> no. no, I have. What did you have in here first? Um, we had cabbages. No, lettuce, actually. Peas. Pack choy, strawberries, strawberries um, beetroot, carrots, parsnips. And what eggs. survived? Strawberries and peas. <laughs> <laughs> the first one we planted. As you can see, loads of hard work being done, and, and they've just dug it out again, uh, ready to start again. They keep on finding random like potatoes and radishes and all sorts of other stuff that we did plant on the first round, but. It's a work in progress and we will come back to it. Perfect. Man. I don't care. This is about ours. <laughs> <laughs> but that's been it. That's been a little tour around our allotment. I will return when the allotment's looking a little more like an allotment and not just like a, a, a mass grave. Um, it's just starting to rain. So that'll do us for this week's video on getting to know us. And hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button. If you have enjoyed all of the imagery and you want to see more and get to know us a little bit more, then hit that subscribe button. What do they have to do? Subscribe and like. Subscribe and like, apparently. Uh, anyway, I shall see you on the next one. Happy wife, happy life time, this one. Uh, so 